Today I have a flavor build for you. I want to build an earthbender. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you that there's a lot of decisions that are made to stay in theme instead of being optimal. I'll kind of brush over those as we're going through. But I think I was pretty surprised to find out how many earth-based spells are actually sick. I didn't really realize if you went deep into that theme that we would find some hidden gems. So let's go ahead and explore that. So I think there's a couple races that we can take to stay in theme. Dwarf are of course known to be very involved in the earth. Earth Ganassi are another one that comes up in my mind. Now, of course you could probably just take turtle and be better off Portals make fantastic druids, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I had to choose dwarf because I just couldn't go outside of the thing that drastically. Personal bias. <laughs> so we end up with 17 wisdom, 16 constitution, 14 dex, 10 intelligence, and then we dump the other two. Beginning at druid one, and we're going from druid one to the end. Being the dwarf that we are with the stats that we have, we're going to end up with a 16 AC. As for spells, I'm going to be focusing heavily on flavor first before I'm choosing anything else. My preference is to do rock and stone, but I will allow myself to go do plant-based things because it's close enough to theme but that will always come secondary to the earth function so for example i normally wouldn't take earth tremor but because it's so in theme we're going to be taking earth tremor here entangle and goodberry also both fit the fill i will say with entangle i would prefer to do it as stone grappling as opposed to vines grappling that's kind of how i'd flavor it as for our cantrips mold earth and magic stone make the most sense to me at level two i'm going to be picking up the land druid and i'm going to be picking the mountain version now we're going to get most of these spells anyways but almost every single one of these spells is rock themed so it's just going to expand the amount of rock themed spells that we can be using. We're also going to get an extra spell, which I'm going to be picking up Thorn Whip. Thorn Whip can be used both in melee and at 30 feet, so it just expands what we can do given our ranges. Land Druid also allows us to do a short rest restore spell, so we're going to be a better spellcaster than most druids in the fact that we can just cast more spells. At Druid level 3, we're going to be picking up second level spells, which honestly don't have a huge earth theme. Spike Growth is the big one here. I'm going to be picking that up for sure, and I'm going to be using it again as stone stones creating these spikes instead of plants or thorns. Now at Druid 4, we get to take a half feet to round out our wisdom. There's probably a bunch of better ones we can take, but I took Observant. I like to think that someone who is present with the land, like a land druid, is also just kind of naturally alert. So I liked having my passive perception buff. I just liked the flavor. When it comes to these mental half feats, there's always a better option, you know, in Fade Touched and whatnot. But I take those so often, I just wanted to do something a little different here. At this level, we pick up another cantrip. We're kind of out of theme at this point. So I picked up Guidance just because it's a really solid cantrip. At Druid level 5, we're going to be getting melt into stone which is a ritual we're always going to have prepared so it'll just be cool that sometimes we just sink into rock when the time is appropriate erupting earth is our new blast spell and i look at erupting earth as not a fantastic control spell and not a fantastic blast spell but it is decent at bulk so together we end up with a pretty good spell plant growth is also within our flavor here though it's in our secondary flavor again if we can somehow flavor it into stone then that would be the preference druid at level six picks up land stride this doesn't do much for us but quite a few of our spells actually do create difficult terrain and this will allow us to ignore it it's not going to come up often because we're not running it at the enemies that we're casting these spells on but it is there in case we need it druid seven i'm picking up summon elemental and i'm going to restrict myself to only using earth elementals now we have a summon along with blast and control spells so we're actually surprisingly well rounded for saying hey we're just taking earth based spells and again i'm thinking avatar here when i'm casting these spells i really want to get into that flavor of stomping on the ground and spike growth comes up and all those cool things i really want to fill like a, an earthbender. We also get stone skin and we always have stone shape prepared. So we are starting to get a, a nice array of these stone flavored spells. Other mentions that we can go over are guardian of nature, grasping vine. All of those things are kind of in the more of the plant theme, but we can again, flavor them to our rock based thing. There's probably also a lot more spells at this level that if flavored correctly could be seen in the same thing, but these are the ones I, I went over. Druid 8, we're going to be bumping Wisdom. Druid 9, we're going to be picking up 5th level spells. And 5th level spells bring some really cool and interesting things for us. Wrath of Nature is a personal favorite and kind of the diamond in the rough that I found here. I just think it's a really cool and flavorful spell to be used with this particular build. Wall of Stone is now always prepped and Wall of Stone is absolutely fantastic. It's one of our premier spells. We're going to love having it. Transmute Rock, completely underrated spell, absolutely fantastic, fits our theme perfectly, throw it on our list. Commune with nature is a great ritual and it kind of makes me think about Toph sitting in the swamp and being able to commune with basically the whole world and seeing how her daughters are doing across the world because she's communing with nature. Druid 10, we're gonna be picking up nature's ward. Immunity to poison is pretty dang good, but everything else is just absurdly situational and will probably never be used. Finally at Druid 11, we're gonna be picking up six level spells. Bones of the earth is an incredible spell. 
perfectly in flavor awesome visual i've always loved the spell and this is the perfect build for it and this is a druid exclusive spell so no matter what other build we're doing we're really not going to be as cool of an earthbender as a druid can be we also get flesh to stone investiture of stone move earth transport via plants and wall of thorns so we get a cool list of spells here six level is actually a really great earth-based spell list past this point where the only really standout spell is going to be Earthquake. So we're just going to be doing more of what we're already doing. Again, there probably is going to be some spells that you can reflavor to fit the flavor perfectly. Overall, we're a druid. We're a druid's druid. This is very standard druid stuff here, except we're going with an earth theme, which is essentially a restriction, so we should be worse than most druids. But once again, I was surprised at how well-rounded an earth-based druid is. We have summons, we have blasts, we have a lot of control spells, we have utility. We're actually quite well-rounded. Awesome theme as well. It all comes together really nicely to have a fun earthbender. I personally can't think of a better earthbender. Maybe taking Urchinasi makes a little bit more sense. Sure. But I don't really think there's much else you can do to make a better earthbender. Although, I'd be happy if you guys proved me wrong. If you guys think of a better earthbender, let me know in the comments down below. Now, one last thing I will mention before letting you guys go is that we have Wild Shape. Now, Tasha's variant allows us to use Wild Shape to do Summon Familiar instead. And I'm going to be using that more often, and I want our Familiar to be one of those blind mole rats except in small form. I just think that's adorable and amazing and that would be the familiar very important i put that in there and as you guys can expect this build isn't optimized it's definitely a flavor build but i hope you enjoyed it and I, I would love to hear how you guys would improve it in the comments down below but other than that i hope you have yourselves a lovely day and i'll see you on the next one later